Hello YouTube community, it's Prophet David Howard Jr. And I'm talking a little bit about Halloween on today. I know trick-or-treating is tomorrow, that's why I'm making this broadcast. So, you know, you might want to show your kids this broadcast and do some research on Halloween. Because a lot of you, you know, a lot of churchgoers, you know, you put your suit on on Sundays. You know, and you, you think you know everything there is to know about everything. But yet, and still you're not learning what you need to learn about these pagan holidays that you follow a lot of you 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 know you say things like drinking wine and playing a lottery ticket is a sin but yet you celebrate Christmas and other pagan holidays like Halloween which indeed are sin because they go against the laws the commandments and the statutes of the Most High God the Most High God plainly told us do not have any other gods before him and when you worship and when you when you when you basically when you keep these holidays these customs of pagans then you 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 have another gods before them because if you're going to keep a custom as a sacred day where you consistently follow that custom then you have to make sure that that sacred day is approved of by the biblical God. But, you know, you, you had the preachers, you know, they, well, we'll give them a Bible track. No, you don't participate at all. Don't do anything. No parallels to these pagan holidays. None. None. Don't do anything on that day. If they come to your door, don't answer the door simple as that don't try to give parallels you give them a piece of candy with a bible track no that's you secretly trying to participate and this is what he means when he says that he basically told them in the old covenant to cut down their groves destroy their altars just bring destruction to what they believe so let's go into some details about this Halloween. First of all, the, the Halloween means All Hallows Eve. That's where they get the word Halloween from. And and Christians throughout the generation have compromised and have tried to make parallels to these days to appease pagans and to get their money. And one of the parallels to this day the Catholic Church calls it All Saints Day, which is Hallows Day. Hallow's Eve is the day before, which is October 31st. Now, October is symbolic, you know, to pagans as the month of death. In ancient mythology, it's the month of Set. It's also, in earthly customs, it's the month of homosexuality. When a lot of homosexuals come out of the closet or whatever. It's the month of famine, death, homosexuality. And that's why... Like, like, I don't believe in astrology, but my, uh, uh, based on the pagan world, my, my world, my, how do I put this? My astrological sign based on their customs is Libra. And Libra is a pair of scales, basically. Because the October is known as the month of death, it's the month of famine. So, but they also called this holiday Samhain. Now the Druids, the ancient Celts, again, that's where a lot of these things, you know, a lot of us, our ancestors were Hebrew Israelites, you know, almost all, all the blacks in this country, at least that's what they call us as blacks. But, you know, don't call me black because they call black magic, black magic. And these people that you know basically believed in this Halloween they thought that the black cat was a witch shapeshift so black is symbolic in the customs of the world as a curse you're not finna cast spell by putting me like I'm a curse you're not finna do it I know where the stuff come from it comes from uh, racist supremacists through the years just trying to elevate themselves you know they call themselves white and this ain't your fault. This ain't your fault. Those of you that are not this way, 
I'm not talking about you. You won't get mad if you're not like this. But they call themselves white, which is symbolic for purity and innocence. That's why when the people, those of us who go to the heaven when we die, we're going to be given white robes. I'm not finna call these people who commit just as many crimes as we do, who, who commit vile, profane acts, white. Call them pink, peach, whatever, uh, uh, Caucasian, Anglo-Saxon, children of Japheth, whatever. But when you call them white, you're basically saying they're pure and innocent. They're the standard. Not the standard. The standard is the most high. And you worshiping the Messiah. A lot of you are worshiping the Messiah that came through that tribe of Judah, which means that he was darker than I am. That's a fact. That's a fact. Now, it's called Sam Hain in the ancient Celts. That's where you, you know how the Boston Celtics, their name is, is made after the ancient Europeans. On this night, they were basically uh, the spirits, they would basically uh, believe that the realm between light and darkness became blurry. And they believed that the spirits came alive and were walking around. So they appeased these spirits by giving them food. Well, the quote unquote Christian church, they what they did basically was they called them soul cakes. And the soul cakes, you can look this up. If you, do, if you think I'm making this up, don't look at my face. Don't look at my hair. Don't look at my background. If you think I'm making this up and you're not ignorant, you're a person that wants the truth. Look it up. It's called Sam Hain. The word Halloween comes from All Hallows Eve. And basically what they were doing. What they were doing is. They believed that the light and darkness. The, the realm between light and darkness became blurry. And they believed that the spirits of the dead. Rose from the dead. And they appeased them by giving them food. So what the Catholic Church. With the early Christian church. That's why I don't call me a Christian. I'm a follower of the way. Christianity is intermingled with paganism. That's why they celebrate Halloween. That's why they celebrate Christmas. That's why they celebrate Easter. I don't care what you're not gambling. I don't care what you're not more movies you're not watching. You are breaking the, the commandments of the Most High God when you keep these holidays. You're supposed to stay away from this stuff. And you're supposed to be the type of person that you don't care who doesn't agree with. You stay away from this stuff. Now, so they they created these cakes, which the poor, the poor citizens, basically, what they did was they was they would offer up prayers. They would agree to offer up prayers for the dead, the people that's in quote unquote purgatory, which there's no such thing. But anyway, people believe it. They would get these cakes, and then they would pray for the souls of those who they thought. We're in this purgatory. So. Now. Like I said. Christians Christianized it or whatever. But. Alright. They had bonfires. They they basically was offering animal sacrifices. But let me just show you something the scripture says about that. He talked about that. Now again. When he talks about something. It's a sin. When your pastor talk about it, if the most high didn't say nothing, it's not a sin. Your pastor is not important. In the big scheme of things, I'm a preacher, but I'm not important. And your pastor is not important. He may think he is. He may think because he has the numbers. He has this. He has that. But I'm not important. And your pastor is not important. Remember that. Remember that. You know, people start getting arrogant, getting the big head, thinking they this and that. Ain't nothing else important in the big scheme of three. I'm going to make this real short and sweet for you. Because I know a lot of you, you know, you don't really like to to watch stuff that's going to help you for too long. If it ain't a football game or a basketball game or for some of you uh, uh, porn or, or whatever you're interested in, you don't want to hear it for too long. Now listen to this. This is Deuteronomy 18 and 10. Let me start from verse 9. When thou art come into the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee, 
which Yah thy God giveth thee, thou shalt not learn to do after the abominations of those nations. Again, what he says is wrong, is wrong. There shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or daughter pass through the fire, or that uses divination, or an observer of times, or an enchanter, or a witch. Witches are glorified on Halloween. And you talking about how saved you is. You got witches on brooms in front of your house. You got dead people in front. He's the God of the living. Whose side are you on anyway? You soft act. You what the world calls a punk. Because you basically, you compromising what you believe and what's true to appease other people. Let me tell you something. In the big scheme of things, you so saved. Your family go against God, they're against you too. Now, it says, Or a charmer, or a consulter with familiar spirits, or a wizard, or a necromancer. A necromancer is somebody that basically uh, raises the dead and does things with the dead like they're alive. That's what Halloween does. Halloween is necromancing at its finest. That's why they watch horror, they watch people get killed. Let me tell you something. You may think because you can't see God's face that there is no God, but He is, and He's coming for you. And either He's gonna, it's either gonna be good for you, or it's gonna be bad for you. But if you think He's just a God of love, you don't know what love is. If you think that He's gonna let you slide, for all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord. See, that's sin right there. Not your little definition. But if he calls something an abomination, it's an abomination. I don't care if Oprah and everybody in the whole entire world disagree. If the Most High says it's an abomination, it is an abomination. Period. You don't matter. You don't matter. You 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 know, some of y'all getting this thing where you try to kill people. That don't matter. It don't matter because it's crazy. People say they don't believe in God, right? But then they celebrate Halloween, which is basically the spirits walking around. Now it says, And because of these abominations, Yah, thy God, the Lord thy God, do it drive them out before thee. Thou shalt be perfect with the Lord thy God. Now, all this stuff about jack-o'-lantern and the urban legend behind jack-o'-lantern. Jack-o'-lantern basically was a real person. Uh, let me see. I had his name wrote down. His name is John Patrick Carey. He was born on October 31st, 1897 in Ireland. Again, all this stuff is Irish. All this stuff. My ancestors didn't do this stuff. They had their own witchcraft that led to us being enslaved and being in this country but the, the the spiritual ancestors didn't do none of this stuff they didn't believe in this stuff this is this the Irish stuff so now you got people basically you know you 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 worshiping you exalting the dead you playing with Razor Boy matter of fact it was another goddess where this whole bombing for apples come from. I'm trying to think. Her name was Pomona. And she was supposedly the Roman. See the Romans took upon themselves. All of the culture of the ancient Celts. Because those are their ancestors. So Pomona was one of their goddesses. And what she basically was the goddess of fruit. And apples and stuff like that. And this is why people bob for apples on Halloween because that's Roman custom and you know they even made a parade out of the whole thing where they do all the things that are done on Halloween the bonfires the costumes all this stuff but yet they're so pious they're so dignified let me tell you something I don't care what color you are this right here is what I go by this now not everything in here because people through generations I know what to go by I'm in tune with the most high I know what to go by but this is what I go by and 
I don't care who you are, what color you are, you're not superior to me. I'm going to go by the scripture to the death. Plain as that. And that's all I'm going to teach for today on this Halloween. Do your research. I want you to research it for yourself. Just go and do some, some research on YouTube, Google, about Halloween. The whole jack-o'-lantern thing. Jack-o'-lantern, basically, according to urban legend, was so evil that he was even tricking the devil. Now, I, I'm not saying it's completely impossible because demons can. The Bible said he can transform himself. So they can shape shift into other things. But the urban legend, you know, about jack-o'-lanterns, should nobody have any jack-o'-lanterns in front of their house? You need to look it up. Look up who is this jack-o'-lantern. Just, just do some research on it. This is Prophet David Howard Jr. Signing off. You, I know, you know, you didn't know these things. But now you'll be held accountable by the Most High for what you know. Because He gives you the information and the resources for you to change your ways into His way and to follow His way. And if you choose not to, for whatever your reason is, you will suffer the consequences. He will rain His wrath on you. I know a lot of you, well, that's fear tactic. Well, believe what you want. Here you have it. Teaching on Halloween. Take it how you want. Those was beggars that was going to people's door for those soul cakes. So you had your kids begging for candy, trick or treat. They basically was, was believing in tricks, you know, for the for the, the spirits to be appeased. Trick or treat. Show me something or give me something. Begging. 